Due to legal complications and language challenges, it often seems that automakers resort to random combinations of letters and numbers when naming new vehicles. It's simply more convenient for all parties involved. So when an actual word is used in a vehicle's name, it tends to stand out. A great example is the 2024 Toyota Tacoma Trailrunner. Unlike labels like TRD, Off-Road, or Pro, which we've grown accustomed to in the Toyota truck family, Trailhunter feels more compelling. So, what exactly is the Trailhunter? Is it a rugged off-roader quietly searching for trails? Or is it a truck that dominates others out there? After spending time pushing one to its limits in mud, it's hard to say if the truck spirit is more Jason Bourne or John Wick. But what's certain is that it can blaze its own path. Other trucks might want to stay out of its way. What sets the Trailhunter apart? The most noticeable difference in the 2024 Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunter compared to other Tacoma models is its high-mounted air intake, which rises along the passenger side A-pillar. This intake is designed to draw in cleaner air, not just to keep out water. Its sleek look even evokes the targeting display on Boba Fett's helmet, though the Trail Hunter would have escaped the Sarlacc far quicker. As Toyota's overlanding-specific model, it's built to take you and your gear almost anywhere. The Trail Hunter rides on 265-70, our 18 Goodyear Wrangler territory, our Slash T tires, nearly 33 inches tall, providing strong traction on various surfaces. For convenience, an air compressor is mounted in the truck bed, allowing you to adjust tire pressure with a digital display. Each corner of the truck features Old Man Emu 2.5-inch forged monotube shocks, custom designed for the 2024 Tacoma Trail Hunter with rear remote reservoirs to handle rough terrain. A Multilink live axle with coil springs and an electronic locking differential ensures optimal rear articulation and traction on the 2024 Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunter. Up front, forged aluminum control arms, finished in bronze and debossed with Trail Hunter, are built to withstand rugged conditions. For enhanced wheel articulation, drivers can electronically disconnect the front anti-roll bar using the Stabilizer Disconnection Mechanism, SDM, from inside the cabin. The suspension offers a lift of 2.0 inches in the front and 1.5 inches in the rear, further boosting its off-road capabilities. The high-mounted air intake isn't the only component position for clearance. Down low, the exhaust is designed to exit before the rear axle, providing better clearance after the axle, a feature shared with the Tacoma TRD Pro. This design, combined with the ARB steel rear bumper featuring integrated recovery hooks, ensures that the Trail Hunter can tackle tough trails without bottoming out. While the exhaust may seem like a small feature, its placement meant we didn't need to alter our driving path while climbing MT Magna at Michigan's Holly Oaks or Park. Off-roading can be harsh, so the Trail Hunter comes equipped with upgraded underbody protection. The standard Tacoma aluminum protection is replaced with stamped steel shielding critical components like the front, transmission, and rear differential. Additionally, frame-mounted rock rails are included to safeguard the body and frame during challenging maneuvers. The 2024 Tacoma Trail Hunter is offered exclusively as a double cab, with the option of either a 5-foot or 6-foot bed. Our test model featured the 5-foot bed. All Trail Hunter models come standard with a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster and a 14.0-inch center touch screen. Other notable interior options include a head-up display, heated and cooled seats, and an upgraded stereo system with a removable JBL Flex portable Bluetooth speaker. Ready for adventure, day or night. Whether you're driving at night or setting up camp in the dark, the 2024 Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunter is equipped to handle it. It features Trail Hunter-specific LED headlights for everyday lighting needs. Additionally, an LED light bar is mounted in the center of the bronze Toyota Heritage Grille, which sports a retro Toyota font for a touch of classic styling. Officially, the Trail Hunter is rated for 35 inches of water fording, but when we pushed that to 40 inches or more, the light bar was still visible above the wake, trying to outrun the out-of-the-box Overlander. As you emerge from bodies of water, dust, or darkness, Rigid Industries LED fog lights keep things lit from down low. Switchable white and amber modes make them even more versatile. We like the amber lights in water and the white lights for on-road driving and heavy dust. Turn them on with the left multifunction steering column stock, 
and change the color with the fog button to the left on the dash. LED lighting continues into the bed. A roof-mounted light shines on cargo, and lights mounted in the center of the upper bed rails assist as well. Could anyone possibly need more lights? Well, if you do, you can always stick a light bar up high on the standard sport bar mounted behind the cab. It even comes with removable mall panels for mounting gear. Off-road. With enough flavors of Tacoma to rival a Baskin Robbins, two are distinctly the most capable. The TRD Pro is the desert runner, competing with the likes of the Ford Ranger Raptor and, of course, the Trail Hunter as the Overland Edition. The Trail Hunter convinced us of its slower speed crawling and trail conquering abilities several times over, but the TRD Pro is the mid-sized Toyota pickup ready for some desert speed. We were impressed by the Trail Hunter's versatility when another grade is purpose-built for higher speed runs. This feature is common across all Toyota off-road trucks and SUVs, including the Lexus GX550 on the shared TM&AG platform, but that doesn't mean we like it any less. Getting the Trail Hunter prepped to ditch the pavement is done by entering the Multi-Terrain Select MTS, or DAC slash crawl modes with the dial on the center console. There is a standard drive mode selection, but separating all the drive modes keeps selection by the driver deliberate and avoids unnecessarily long strings of features across the screen. Other useful items like camera display, anti-roll bar disconnect, and the differential lock buttons are all just as easy to access on the center console. As useful as it is to have the truck tailor its transmission, throttle, and traction control maps for specific surfaces like snow or sand, we didn't find ourselves fiddling with them much. Although we did try them all out, the equipment speaks for itself. The Wrangler or Slash T tires found traction in water, sand, mud, and on smooth rocks. Especially with the anti-roll bar disconnected, wheel articulation at each corner is so extreme, we expected to see a tire pop straight through the fenders. But this extreme wheel tuck keeps corner weight over the wheels and the suspension loaded, improving traction and keeping the driver in a more neutral sitting position as a secondary benefit. The hybrid 2.4-liter turbocharged iForce Max 4-cylinder makes peak combined output figures of 326 horsepower and 465 lbft of torque, with 48 horsepower and 184 lbft coming from the electric motor. Taking a page from the same chapter we just covered, DAC slash crawl is a great feature, but it's almost unnecessary. It will save you from having to ride the brakes on a steep decline, but the electric motor provides enough low-end torque that you can easily make fine throttle adjustments without fancy computer controls.